Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're doing a little bit of a throwback. I am giving you a tag video. I was thinking about this video the other day. I was like, there's a really fun tag video out there, like top 10 perfumes for 10 occasions. Karina Waldron started this tag about a year ago. She's amazing. I'm sure you guys already know of her, but if you don't, Make sure to check her out. I will leave her channel information down below. Brilliant idea. What a fun video. So I did change a couple of the occasions, but this is mainly Karina. Also, I did cheat a little bit with a couple of the categories because some of the categories just scream a particular fragrance, but then it's also like a really cliche option. So I will name the cliche option and then also give you an alternative. So starting with the first one, you need a fragrance for work, the office, an interview, etc. First option that popped in my head was Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. I mean, come on, it's a no brainer. It's a classic for a reason. It's timeless, chic, professional, very likable. But if you don't wanna smell like everyone else, but you need a fragrance that falls into that kind of category, 100% Chloe Nomad Absolute. Amazing. Perfect for work. Also, the original is a beautiful perfume. I prefer the Absolute version a little bit more because it's a little bit more woody, which is my fave. This is your classic Chypre perfume. So you have, you know, the citrus notes in there. You get the oak moss quality. So this has Mirabelle Plum at the top, which is such a zesty, happy, uplifting, tart fruit. I love it. It's very likable and it's unique. You don't see that note in perfumes very often. And the oak moss note in here is just delightful. You also have some added woodiness from the sandalwood and then there's also a touch of musk in here. It's aromatic, so elegant. It's honestly just beautiful. It's a huge compliment getter for me. Like you can see how much I've used of this. This would also make an amazing signature scent. It really works for a lot of different occasions. And honestly, if you like your Chanel type perfumes and you don't own this already, girl, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Now for the gym. I scoured my entire perfume collection and I was like, oh my gosh, I really don't have any perfumes that fall into this category because I am just not a clean, freshy kind of girl. <laughs> I'm one for the heavy hitters. I like my woody fragrances. I like my gourmands. Give me tobacco, amber. I mean, you guys know what I like. And it's not that I haven't tried fresh fragrances, but being completely real with you, I'm bored out of my mind <laughs> when I smell them. Like nothing has wowed me at all. I mean, you could actually classify this as a freshie. This works, this is wow, this is great. So I was on YouTube last night for a hot minute searching like unique freshies. <laughs> so now I have a list of ones I need to try because I'm like, I need to offer some options here for the people. But luckily my beloved boyfriend has a perfect fragrance for the gym in his collection. And this is La Labo's Another 13. First of all, okay, look, look at this. Do you see this dent this man has put in this fragrance? Oh my word, I need to get him one stat. <laughs> I adore this fragrance. And the only reason this is the first time I'm mentioning this on my channel is because this is a part of my boyfriend's collection and I just don't, think of it when I'm filming my fragrance videos. Like when I'm planning content, I look at my collection and then draw from that. So I am so sorry, but you are very loved. This is my favorite fragrance from Le Labo. It is incredible. I'm gonna tell you how this smells and it's very difficult to describe this scent here because it is so unique. So the people in my life crack up when I tell them this, but it is the truth, okay? <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, I am Dutch, which is why my name is spelled A-N-N-E, but it's pronounced Anna. And Dutch people have a very specific smell to them. Like if someone walks in and they're Dutch, I will know that they're Dutch before they even speak a word. <laughs> Visiting people's houses in the Netherlands, all of the houses have this very distinctive, iconic smell. And how I describe this to people 
who don't understand. You are in the middle of the woods and it has just rained. So you're getting like this crisp, fresh, woody element that's like very clean. You know that, you know the smell, like right after it's rained, it smells amazing. And then you get a little hint of just a sexy man's cologne. That is a Dutch person. No joke, I love that smell and it just smells like home to me. And they have really captured that essence and put it in this bottle. I was floored the first time that I smelled this. I'm like, this is literally the Netherlands. This is just naturally sexy. Like you just wanna bury your face in his chest. Also, this is perfectly unisex, like 100% straight down the middle. Anyone can wear this. So this is mainly woody, not a specific type of wood. It's just like a fresh, clean wood. Then you're getting ambergris, which gives off this like musky, slightly salty like skin kind of smell. Like, you know, just the natural aroma that like a sexy man will give off or it's just like just a little bit of sweat and not in a bad way at all like literally just like ugh, mouth is watering that and then a clean crisp fresh musk oh my gosh it is so beautiful and perfect for the gym when this blends with your skin it is literally a match made in heaven this is your skin but so much better and what i love about this is that this is not like a whisper of a scent. This is not a skin scent in terms of this being like scented water, which so often fresh fragrances are lacking in performance. This is strong, but it's not so strong to the point where it's like you're ever gonna choke someone out. Oh my gosh, it's delightful, like 1000% <laughs> recommend. The perfect perfume for a bride is Delina. I mean, it's literally a bride in a bottle but to give you another option because i feel like with everyone's video <laughs> um they've mentioned delina as the bridal scent this would also make a fantastic option armani Privé's rouge malachite this perfume smells white it is so feminine and warm and creamy and elegant like the first time that I smelled this, I sampled it. I just could not stop going back to it. It was just heavenly. Like, I feel like an angel would wear this. This is tuberose done right. I am so picky with tuberose. Like, so often it comes off too indolic. It's too mature. It's too cloying or sweet for me. And there, there's literally tuberose in the top, mid, and base of this perfume but it's beautiful. It is blended to perfection. You also have jasmine and ylang ylang in here, which gives it a little bit of like a warm, creamy, tropical vibe. There's amber and benzoin, which gives it a beautiful resinous quality. It's a little bit like fresh spicy at the top from the pink pepper, the clary sage. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. Like when I smell this, I picture a very classic wedding dress with a long train. It's not a lacy wedding dress. There's no ruffles. There's no sequins or sparkles or anything like that. It's like a very just timeless, chic, classy dress. Just beautiful. And I get so many compliments when I wear this. Um, a bunch from men, a bunch from women, like everyone loves it. Then for a casual day, you want to smell nice, likable, feminine, easy breezy beautiful. And it would make an amazing signature scent. This falls into a lot of different occasions as well. You're going out to lunch, you're going shopping, Parfum de Marly Cassili. And this is a very likable but still unique fruity floral perfume. It has a freshness to it and it also does have a little bit of like a sour, tartness similar to kind of what you're experiencing in Delina but they're completely different perfumes but you kind of get that bit of a feminine parfum de Marly DNA. This so obviously smells like a tart unripe peach to me like I cannot believe there's not peach listed in the notes. They're either lying 
keeping it a secret or the notes coming together just come off like peach. But the color of the bottle perfectly emulates what the scent smells like inside. The red currant also has to be where that tartness is coming from. You get frangipani, which is a really happy, kind of tropical, summery, springtime floral, and then a bunch of other floral notes, which I honestly can't identify. It's just like a mis mishmash of a bunch, but they're very soft and likable. Nothing is too harsh or intense. And then you get some vanilla in here, which I feel like is just the cherry on top to this fragrance. It just adds a little bit of sweetness and it's just like, oh my gosh, by the way, killer layering combination. This with Kaoli Vanilla 28 is insane. It literally brings this to a whole whole nother level. I get mad compliments from men when I wear this fragrance. Like they will strike up whole conversations with me about this scent and they want to discuss it and get to know it and everything. And I really don't get that too often. Like usually when it comes to guys, like they'll compliment me on my fragrance and that's it. But with this, like they want to chat about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good one. Next occasion, you are going on a date. Now I've split this into two different categories because maybe you're going on a day date or a evening date. So I got you covered for both. For a day date, this would be perfect. Bond number nine, Greenwich Village. They have captured so many different elements and perfumery and blended it to perfection in this perfume. It's fresh, it's like slightly watery or aquatic in a very clean kind of way. It's fruity, it's floral, it's sweet, like, <laughs> and it, it comes off so feminine and delicate. Like, oh my gosh, this just smells like a spring dress. It is an ode to femininity. There's lychee in here, which is one of my favorite fruity notes and perfumery. It's so good, but this is a very juicy lychee. So in Delina, it's much more tart in here. It's like juicy and mouthwatering. The florals are perfection, peony and water lily. They're very fresh and light and likable and elegant. It has a clean musky quality and then it's sweetened with praline and vanilla. So this has that identifiable Baccarat Rouge airy sweetness, but this does not smell like Baccarat. Like it is not a dupe by any means. You could totally have both perfumes in your collection. When I smell this, I picture the color light pink and baby blue. Light pink because of the overall aura that it gives off, but then light blue because there really is that fresh, lightly aquatic quality to it. And for date night, I would highly recommend Fragrance Du Bois Minuit Edemi. This is one of my favorite gourmands ever that's not overly gourmand. This is a light amount of dark roast coffee beans. You have caramel and vanilla to sweeten it up. You get an addictive fresh spiciness at the top from cardamom and pimento. In the base, there's all these delicious notes that make it edgy and so appropriate for date night. You have liquor, cedar, tobacco, cinnamon, like all of these heavenly notes are huh, are just so delectable together. Your date is going to be all over you. Also, I just wanted to throw out a couple of layering combinations out there because let's say you're going on a date for kind of the whole day, like you're meeting up in the afternoon and it's gonna carry on into the night. So let's say this is your perfume of choice. To spice it up for the evening, layer it with Baccarat Rouge 540. And if this is your perfume of choice, you can layer it with Vanilla 28 earlier in the day and then put this on a bit heavier in the evening. You're welcome. For a beachy tropical vacation, there is no other perfume that is better than this. I am telling you, quote me now. Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz. Drop the mic is incredible. Literally, there is no better coconut fragrance I have ever smelled. I adore the scent of coconut, but so often in fragrances, it comes off very heavy, thick, sweet, cloying, artificial, sunscreen. I'm just like, no. This is the most 
freshest organic coconut water. You have literally plucked a coconut fresh from the coconut tree, hacked it, you're drinking it. It's like, it's all chilled, put some over ice. Oh my gosh, talk about refreshing. This literally smells like Hawaii. It's Hawaii in a bottle. It's fresh, it's watery, but the fragrance doesn't smell watered down. Honestly, this is a masterpiece for what it is. There's freesia, which adds a very light white floral note. There's bergamot on the top to just give it a slight bit of a limey quality. And there's a little bit of a woody note in the base, just like a smidge. But this is mainly a very true coconut water scent. It's ever so slightly sweetened. It is beautiful. This was one of my easiest picks for this whole list. I was like, huh, tropical vacation, coconut fizz. A night out with the girls. The obvious choice would be Baccarat Rouge 540. You can never go wrong with that. And it just screams night out. But my other option would be Moogler's Angel Muse EDP. This is sexy. It's edgy. It's bold. It's yummy. Like people are going to ask you about your perfume and then you can thank me. This has that patchouli angel DNA, but it's dialed back. It's softened up. It's not as intense or harsh. There's vetiver, which gives it this dry, woody earthiness. You get pink pepper, which adds a warm spiciness. And then you have hazelnuts hazelnut spread. I love chocolate more than anyone. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite chocolate fragrances without this smelling like straight up food because it has those darker, edgy, cool girl notes in here added to it. Like what a fragrance. You are going to stand out with this but then because of that hazelnut chocolate spread note, people are not gonna know whether they should come up closer to you because you're just like so delectable and scrumptious smelling, or they're intimidated by you because you're just that girl, like you're so freaking cool. Okay, you are meeting your significant other's parents for the first time, this is important. You need something that's going to be likable, that's gonna be safe, that's gonna be classy, and you probably maybe don't wanna go with Coco Mademoiselle, La Via Belle, Black Opium, Flower Bomb, because then you might run the risk of smelling similar to someone else. You need something that screams, don't you worry, I'm an amazing girl, woman, for your son or daughter. Prada La Femme. This is a beautiful yellow floral, creamy, lightly sweetened, clean fragrance. Also would make an amazing signature scent, great for so many occasions, so likable, amazing compliment getter. It has a little bit of a tropical vibe to it because you get Ylang Ylang and Frangipani in here. There's also tuberose and there's a unique beeswax note. It's sweetened up a little bit with a vanilla and there's a little bit of a powderiness to it. Wear this and they're not gonna be going in for the handshake. They'll be going in for the hug. For a black tie formal or special event, this was another no-brainer. Oot for greatness, initio. Come on. This is the most bold, standout, rich smelling perfume in my collection by far. This smells like money. This is literally so appropriate for like a Met Gala red carpet, black tie, whatever. Very formal, special occasion kind of ordeal here. Even though I'm obsessed with it and I definitely don't reserve it for just that. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm certainly not going to any Met Galas. <laughs> this is the king of oud to me. Like there is no better oud fragrance that I have come across. It is blended so beautifully. It's so smooth and sexy. It's not dirty or animalic. And then it has that iconic, soft Baccarat Rouge airy sweetness to it. It also has a little bit of a soft, smoky, leathery quality. This is art in perfumery. Like I so appreciate 
and am invested in and research perfumery like it truly is an art form I'm so passionate about it but there's something about this fragrance in particular that just screams art piece and lastly for the holidays we have thanksgiving christmas the iconic time of year where it's associated with very distinct smells my pick would have to be zerjoff's dolce amalfi this has a very prominent clove note which just screams the holidays to me i feel like clove is in you know the food that we eat um in the aromas around us like in candles our houses smell like it it's just everywhere Ooh, also balsam balsam is in here also a huge note that's popular during the holidays so this is mainly a warm ambery spicy fragrance which i think is just like so clearly reminiscent of the holidays you get a fun uplifting zesty kind of tart fruitiness from the quince which is a unique citrus note there's green apple in here like specifically granny smith apples you get fresh spiciness from the cardamom there's a smoky sweet incense um, you get vanilla in here tonka bean a little bit of woodiness from the cedar there's so many notes that are just delicious in here and this just smells like a warm hug like even before filming this video and I had to find a holiday fragrance immediately when I smelled this I thought of the holidays like it just gives me the vibe of sitting by the fireplace uh, watching holiday movies with your family friends significant other um you're eating good food together you're playing games it's just a good time and this Casamarati line is very popular from Zerjoff but this is by far my favorite one so those were my top fragrances for 10 occasions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos, I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!